And here and welcome to Nebs Gaming. Well, that was a bit of a different intro for us, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought I'd go with something different, maybe a little bit of music this time, just to uh, spice things up and keep things fresh. I hope you all enjoyed it because I definitely enjoyed making it for you. Make sure you like and subscribe. Anyway, what are we going to be doing today? Well, we are going to be working on something which we saw in the intro, and that is the distiller. Why are we working on the distiller? Because I've got engines that require fuel. So in order to make the fuel, we're going to use the distiller. And we're going to use an easier option as well. But I'm going for the harder option at this minute in time. So how do we get this started? If you can see on the screen now, because Post Editor Nev has put something on there that he got from the wiki. Uh, you should see that I actually have one of these, which is the distiller. Now, in order to get the best fuel, which it is the dense fuel because it has a burn time of 30,000 ticks but you only get four buckets um, we need to make it into oh sorry we need to make it hot make it into light mixed fuels oh no cancel that I got that wrong what we need to do is we need to make the dense fuel that is the best fuel because it has the biggest burn or the longest burn time should I say so how are we going to make that? Well, we need to have some dense oil, or we need to have some distilled oil, um, or we need to have some... I we've There's lot there's lots of ways. There's, as you can see there, look, heavy mixed fuels. There's loads of different ways. We can cool to make heavy oil, but then that gives us uh, gas fuel. So it, all sorts of things are happening there. But the thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it hot. And in order to do that, we need a heat exchanger. So if I... So I want everything running. The plan is, this is going to be the front, right? This area is going to be the front of the distillery. So if we place the main distillery on the front here. Oh, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. And then the idea is we're going to have one of these wooden fluid pipes coming out of this side. And then we're going to have the secondary. Ooh, in fact. In fact. In fact. Do I? Because if we, this is just going to come out cool, isn't it? So this is going to produce gas, fuel, and heavy oil. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we could go for mixed light fuels. We could do that and go to dense fuels. No, 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 no. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Because we need to make this hot first. So with a quick change of plan there, what we're going to do is we're going to get these lovely, lovely tanks here. And we're going to put three there three there because we can make them they're literally just made out of glass so we don't need to worry about how many we require and i think that actually looks nice and plus i've got a bit of a walkway here so i can put a door and enter the back so what's going to happen is i want the fluids to be coming out of this pipe and into a distillery so in order to do that we are going to utilize this wooden fluid pipe here so i'm going to put it on the middle there just so i've got that little bit of space and it should in theory draw it out in theory uh, this needs to be powered by a redstone engine and there we go we've got the redstone engine attached to the wooden pipe now and that's just going to get f powered by a redstone torch or a lever so we can turn it off and on and this is going to pull the oil out of there but we need to heat the oil so in order to do that we're going to have to use these heat exchangers now they work in I believe it's three well, that's clearly not right, is it? We have totally done that wrong. We have totally done that wrong. So I need to pick them back up. You would think they would just connect normally, but no, that would that would be just too easy, wouldn't it? There we go. I had two and then three. There we go. Up. Oh, there we go. So the oil is going to go through there, and this is where we are going to need a lava tank in here, so it can draw the lava up and go into this one, and then draw it back down and then go into this one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add two more tanks and fill these with lava. Now this, in theory, in theory, should work. Should work. Whether that actually happens is a different story. Right, let's get these golden fluid pipes. Uh, I found these in, in my base. I probably acquired them from somewhere else, but, you know, <coughs> fair game. So we'll take these fluid pipes and then we'll feed it. Let's have a bit of space in between here. So if we go one maybe, and then we can come down here because I want I want I want to see movement in the back here because if this is going to be the front wall here, I want a lot of movement because you know 
I want to keep you lot entertained. I want to keep you guys watching. So uh, let's crack on. So this is going to be going into a distillery. So in theory, this should be heated enough for everything to be going into this distillery here. Now, I'm not 100% whether that's going to be the case. Not 100%. And I think I've got to place it this way maybe. Because my thought is the hot is going to go into there. Oh, maybe I should make it three and have it coming out of the, the back and the front. Hmm. Yep, yeah, and there we have it. We got three. I decided to make it a bit wider because I'm going to have, if I'm going to have a pipe coming out of this side and then I'm going to have a pipe coming out of this side, you know, I don't want, I don't want them to connect into this tank here and uh, causing havoc. I know I can use a wrench, but I want, I want to make life simple. So, we're going to make this hot. So that's going to produce some dense oil coming out one way. And then it's going to produce some residue coming out the other way. Now, we don't need the residue, so we're just going to tank that up. So I'm going to pipe that into the back there. But we will be wanting the dense oil. Why do we want the dense oil? Because we want to make it dense fuel. And how are we going to turn it into dense fuel? Well, we're going to need to make it searing. And in order to make it searing, we've got to go, make, it's already hot. So we need to make it uh, extra, well, basically extra hot. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to pipe it out. Oh, no, we need this. We need another two fluid transport pipes either side. One, two, and these are going to be powered again by redstone. So this is the starter of the actual distillery. So we've got the oil in here. We're going to heat it up to hot to make it light fuels and some dense light mixed fuels and some dense oil. Then we're going to heat the dense oil into some. So that's going to go into here. So hopefully we can get some dense oil into one and then we can get some uh, light mixed fuels into the other. Hopefully, that's how the process should do it. So I'm going to fill up now and do some testing after I've had a quick sleep because it is getting dark. So uh, let's see if we can actually get this thing powered then, shall we? So let's get some uh, redstone torches here. Start powering these redstone engines. Why are they not turning on? Maybe there's no need for them to turn on? Hello? Okay, if they're not turning on, uh, will you turn on if I put you there? Yes, there we go. Now, are you going to pump the oil through? Yes, very slowly. Are you going to come through and heat it? Oh, no. So we've got a blockage. We've actually got a blockage. Now, have I got this the right way around? Hmm, interesting. So it is pulling it from there. But it's not actually filling it. Right, let's go back to the test. Let's go back to the testing. So I sort of figured it out, and it has gone a complete and utter mess. So if we get some oil now, just a cheeky little bucket of oil and we place it in here. This oil will pump this up through into here. The lava will run through the center of it. Heating the oil up. Once that oil is heated, it will flow all the way through down here into this distillery. Now, I think I've got this distillery the wrong way because I've been doing some research on it so we need to change a bit about this so if we get rid of this one here there we go so we want everything coming in through the um i can't wait if i this is gonna break it if i crack it so we'll keep that there because we need the gaseous fuels coming out the top so we can get rid of the u and get rid of you because we're gonna need to pump it out so if we go whoop, there we go place you there we're the cheeky little redstone, and we want the heavy fuels coming out the bottom. Which should be, if we go... No, we don't want that one. We want... You. Going into you. Into you. And then we want to power everything, so... Power, power. No, 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 that's not what we asked for, is it? We want to power this. So if I go. 
If I stick the power redstone power on, no, again, it's not letting me power it. Why isn't it letting me power it? Is there enough power coming through? Let's turn these on. Let's see what happens. So nothing's going on there. So I need to power this somehow. So if I was to power you, so can I not power you? That is the question. What do you require to be powered? Hmm. Is it a combustion engine? I've just found something out as well. If we collect a couple of these shards, we'll collect the oil and one of these fragments, and we select it on one of these um, tanks, it fills it up. So we're going to utilize that. And that's going to move all the uh, oil and fuel. It's going to make it go around the... It's changing, it's changing this into hot oil. So in theory, we should be getting hot, light mixed fuels coming out the top. And then we should be getting hot, uh, dense oil out of this side. Now the dense oil we can turn into dense fuel and residue, which we will uh, store in a different in a different area. So in theory, the dense fuel should come out the bottom, and the residue should come into another piping system that I'll uh, have up, up at the top there, and we'll just fill all that top layer full of dense fuel, and we'll get rid of it. Uh, so let's kick. We actually need to kickstart this machine. So let's just put some oil in it now. Make sure that the engine doesn't over explode. Okay, you've got, you've accepted it, right? Are you going to work for me? Are you going to distill everything for me now? This is the real question. It's not powering yet. We're still getting any heat. We've got oil in there. So why are you not working? Is it because you need a bit of redstone to get you kick started possibly? Let's get a... Have I got a lever, though, in any of these bags? Or in any of these boxes? Any levers? Any levers? No levers there. So what I'll do is I will check my bags. No levers there either. Right. So it looks like we're powering it with a redstone torch. Can we just... No. Okay. All right. Let's put this down. One, two, three, and then one, two, and three. There we go. A bit of redstone there just to get the combustion going. And there it goes. There it goes. We have our mixture of fuels going through here. Now, so we should have the hot, dense fuel going through the bottom. Sorry, the hot, dense oil going through the bottom into this tank. And then, when the, well, this will be able to fill up. This will be all gas. And once it's used all the oil in here, See it all collecting there. Once it's used all this oil, we'll be able to actually power it. I wonder if I can get the oil out. No, that is a shame. That is a shame. We've just got to keep an eye on the temperature because at the minute, because it is constantly working, the temperature is not too bad. These can explode, so we will have to start looking at how to uh, power these off. Every now and then, we'll, we can put a, um, a redstone clock in possibly but this thing's looking quite a mess so i'm going to try and organize this a little bit more and then hopefully have the two other processes going where we can get some dense fuel and some residue well hopefully we don't get residue i have created this mess of pipes and well for uh, tanks we've got engines here getting powered and all sorts of chaos running through here so the idea is this, the oil goes in here. Once that oil has goes through the filter, it will then get heated up by, to start off with, lava. Once it goes up here, it will then go into, it will then be hot oil, which will then go into light, light mix fuels, and it should go into dense fuels. Now the dense fuels should start filling up this area here. Now the light mix fuels then should come out the top here. No, where I wrong one. Should come out the top here and then start filling up this or cooling down any oil that we've got in here. And once it comes out of this tank here, it should come out as cool light mixed fuel, which we will then pump into here, which will then produce light fuel and then light gaseous fuel which will then in turn power our combustion engine. The question is, will it work? 
I have no idea. I've not tested this. I'm doing this right this second. So uh, let's have a look, shall we? Um, right, what will we need first? Well, we're going to need some oil. So let's uh, grab this and fill up our oil basin we're right here. So let's fill up you. So you're the input, which is going to be all oil. Uh, you're hot oil, which I don't need. You're cool oil. So uh, let's put you in there. And let's just get you in. No, 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 no. Was I not able to tip that out? That's a shame. Uh, where are we? Where did that go? Wait, what? Did I just... Ah, I haven't got enough for a bucket. I haven't got enough for a bucket, but I have got enough to put the hot oil. Uh, where can I put the hot oil? So the hot oil is going to come out this way, and the hot oil is going to go into this distillery here. So we'll fill that up. There we go. Uh, just like magic. Right, what's next? Well, next we are going to have this hot mixed light fuels. Now, the hot lit mixed light fuels is uh, going to need to... Well, cool. So the hot mixed light fuels is going to be the stuff that's going up here and into this tank here. So we should, in theory, be able to just go like that. We'll get some more of it and pop you in there. That is the theory. Now I just need to turn on all my redstone machines, power up this combustion engine here and hopefully start producing the gases. Oh, I need to power this distillery as well. So I am going to, I need an engine. I didn't see that. So let's put you on there. And then I'm going to need another fluid pipe from you. Running. No, I don't need you. Just so you can power both. I want you to come out of here. Because I don't want to be touching that. And then, in fact, go down. Go down one. So I can walk across it. Up and in. Right. To start off, they'll need to get powered by some lava buckets. So I've got some lava here. I can... No, not lava. They're going to need to get powered by oil, aren't they? Oh. I haven't got any oil. But I know where to get some. I know where to get some oil. Wow, that bird is very loud. You can tell it's getting dusk. But I need to get some oil quickly. Wait, there was some over here. I'm sure there was. Was it not of some over here? Here it is. Here's some oil. Look at that lovely bit of oil. Two buckets of oil there to power my combustion engines to get them started. All needs to be powered by redstone. Oh, this is exciting. Stick with me. Stick with me. Let's have a quick sleep. Oh, that sleep is over. Right, let's get some combustion engine. Put you in there. And then you can get some as well. Let's now... What do we need? Bit of... We'll need a switch for you. No, I don't want you. Oh, no, I can't power you. Why can't I power you? Um, I know. I will put a simple little block next to you. Because you've got stuff going in. And I'll need another block next to you. So we can put one lever there. And one lever there. Right. Time to switch every redstone machine I have on. We'll work backwards in order to... Ensure everything is powered. So you can turn on now. Oh no. Why don't you turn on? There we go. One. Two. Right. Now it's just you need to get powered as well. And I'll just draw you out. And then it's just you and you. Let's see if this works now. So the oil's going up. That's getting cooled. That's amazing. So that's going up. So we know this bit works for sure. So that's all getting powered now, right? So that's collecting in here. And getting pumped out. And you should be going into this distillery here. And producing... What are you producing? Some cool, light fuel. F fantastic. Yes, we've got cool, light fuel. So that's great. So we've got... Something that we actually need. Cool, light fuel. So what, then, is getting pumped into here? Oh, oh, no. Wait, what? Why aren't you going? Why aren't you working? You should be working. There we go. We're heating back up again. We're heating back up again. So what's in here currently? 
Doesn't tell me what's in the distiller, does it? Oh no, so what are you? What's in this golden fluid pipe? Might I might put a tank there. Just to see, because I'm curious. I'm very curious. Because I've got stuff here as well. If I just break you up. Fragile gas if you Oh yes! So that's working as well. Um where did that didn't I hear the tank? Ah, no, they're here. Go there. That'll connect you two up, which will produce the gases fuel still. There we go. So we are producing. We've got our light fuel there. So as we can see here, we are producing quite well, quite well, quite good amounts here. We've got, well, one tank full of uh, light fuel there. We've got one tank full of gaseous fuel there. We've got just over one and a half, well, just under one and a half tanks of dense hot oil that we'll be utilizing later on in this side of the build. And then we've got our pumps going. We've got our engine combustion engines actually cooling which is great uh, what else have we got going on we've got this combustion engine here not cooling as well as I wanted to, to maybe it's because of the distance of where the water pump is and where it's going to that's not as a uh, well that's not as powerful as I'd like it to be but it's not overheating which is good ish <laughs> so we're gonna cook off the last of this fuel and then we'll look at the different... Oh, I'm glitching out. Yeah, that's because I transformed. But then we'll look at the different tools once this is finished processing. <laughs> 